once they're all cut out, I'm just going to center it and put a hole in the middle. Put your brad in to hook to the wheel. They don't all have to be perfect, but center them as best you can. There we are. Our cabins are complete. next part you're going to need some tape, a pipe cleaner, I'm using a long pipe cleaner, two regular drinking straws with the little snappy things and a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut right in front of the little crinkly little thing. I'm going to take one of these straws and place them together. Once you've completed that, you're going to need some Elmer's glue, some Play-Doh, or we got this at the dollar store, and so uh, there's quite a bit of it. This was, I think, four in a container. And you're going to use your spoke that you put together, and you're going to need your wheel. So we're going to put the straws in the center here. Kind of like they'll bend over themselves, so you'll be able to see them. A little bit of our Oops, a little bit. Just to kind of like, this will be like the cement that um, Mr. Ferris would have used to hold his Ferris wheel or his big wheel in place. Put them on the plate. Oh, then you need a plate. Just kind of stick these in here for some stability. Once you have them in there, you're going to want to pull them out real quick and then just put a little bit of glue inside of the Play-Doh. And I know that it is non-toxic and it is a water-based product, but the glue, if you let it sit for a day, it does hold them in place so that you're able to spin the wheel. So this is a pre trimmer so we are kind of giving you directions on how to build it. So there is a little sheet for you to take these steps and try to remember them, write them down, do your planning, and then make your Ferris wheel. Have fun. <laughs>